Hey, a cute Nothing little dog. Stop me. What are you doing here? <laughs> Somewhere over the Mediterranean Sea. Would you like our Italian entree, sir? No, thanks. It gives me hives. Our vegetarian dinner, then? Nope. Gives me the vapors. Then may I recommend the Greek plate? It's delicious. All right, if you insist. Enjoy. It's good to see you, Agent Fox. Ah, Monkey Penny. Now this is a real TV dinner. Right. Yesterday, our spy operatives discovered the factories and offices of Amalgamated Moo Juice Incorporated abandoned and drained of milk. Soon, the entire world's remaining milk reserves will be depleted. The idea of eating dry breakfast cereal is pretty hard to swallow. Yes, it is. Here's the only clue we have. Feta cheese. A low grade, too. Spy operatives took that picture in the office of Mr. Howard Hugh Heffer Utterly III. President and CEO of Amalgamated Moo Juice Incorporated. Exactly. We presume he has valuable information on the dairy crisis. The only available picture of him is hidden in your mashed potatoes. Finding Utterly is your top priority. He shouldn't be hard to spot. The feta cheese samples found in Utterly's office have been traced back to the island of Acidophilus. Your plane will be flying over the island any minute now. I've already set up the mobile command center where you'll rendezvous with me and later on with Quack. The entrance code is in your fortune cookie. Any questions? No, I'm on my way. Good. Monkey Penny, out. I wish I hadn't left my parachute in my other tuxedo. Maybe one of my special spy gadgets will help me. I wonder which one I should pick. That ground sure seems to be getting closer. Funny, I usually have quicker reactions than this. I'm falling pretty fast. Maybe I should pick a pin. I should probably pick a pen soon. Am I falling or is the ground coming towards me? I'm falling pretty fast. Maybe I should pick a pen. Funny, I usually have quicker reactions than this. I should probably pick a pen soon. What's up, guys? How y'all doing? I see y'all in here complaining. I wish I knew what was going on. I know the, the problem with this game is I wanted to play some of the audio for you, but the game just starts playing. So the audio you get, you, it mixes in with some of the gameplay too. Y'all doing all right? How was your day today? How was everything? My day was good. It was a better good day. Stayed busy. 
I ate some peanut butter cookies when I got home that my wife made. They were delicious. I love me a good peanut butter cookie. Yeah, it rains, guy. It's starting to do some rain, and it's supposed to rain a little bit this weekend, I think. If you're in chat watching till nine, but I'm happy to be here. I'm not feeling too great. All right, bro. I'm sorry, not feeling too great, man. Hopefully, this game will bring you some cheer and it'll make you feel better. I don't know. This game is a point-and-click adventure called Spy Fox in Dry Cereal. Now, this is tailored more for, I think, a young audience, but this was a game suggested to me by my good friend Brendan. This is a game he played when he was a kid. And lately, I've been exploring my, uh, my roots in point-and-click adventures. Yeah, nasty bugs and they get you. Oh, yeah, keep resting. You'll get over it. You'll get past it. Stay strong, my brother. Stay strong. Oh, yeah, I have purchased every single game. I have all of them. There's five games in the series. I have already picked them all up. I found a good deal. I got them all for eight bucks. So I'm happy with that. Oop, my phone. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to play this game. It looks like uh, it's going to be interesting. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make you decide. I'm going to give you some good gameplay tonight. See what you think. And then you, you can decide what you want to do. I think it's going to be really fun. It's going to be a, a cool little game. It's only supposed to take about two hours to defeat. To, to so we'll see if we can get it done tonight. Before the stream is over. So we're going to switch on over to the game. And let's see what we got here. Y'all let me know if the game is too quiet, too loud. I can adjust that for you. I've been Am working I falling on or is the ground coming things. towards me? And... Somehow I'll keep bumping my microphone to make it make make it get a lower. I usually have quicker reactions than this. I'm gonna turn the game sound down a little bit. All right, so let me put you in the scene. So what the game starts off? Spy Fox has to go solve a mystery of why all the milk has I'm disappeared. Maybe I should pick a pen. Let me turn it down some more. Thank you, Barefoot. Appreciate it, bro. Um. So anyway, the milk pick a pen soon. has disappeared because there's some evil goat dude that stole all the milk. He stole all the cow milk. So now nobody can have wet cereal. We're having to eat dry cereal that right now. Sure seems to be getting closer. Too quiet. How is it too quiet? All right, we'll, di we'll just I keep dialing it in. We'll keep dialing again and see what happens. Alright, so basically what we're doing, he jumped out of an airplane. And we have to pick a pin because one of these is supposed I to help him have quicker reactions than this. land, basically, on the ground. So we're going to pick one of these. I'm going to go any, mini, mini, mo this one. What good is this without helium? <laughs> the balloon is not going to work. Next. I oh, no the that'll make you fall faster. So he's defined physics there. The one time I don't need a cat. Actually, it doesn't matter the weight of the item. I should say, weight has nothing to do with how fast you fall. And this one should do it. Hmm. Maybe. <laughs> nice. That was impressive. You should have seen the one that got away. That was pretty slick. Hmm. So this is the sleepy little Greek island of Acidophilus. All right, is that pretty loud People for you now? Is it good? Fashionably early, since nothing seems to be open. I should meet up with Monkey Penny at the Mobile Command Center. All right, so we got to meet at the Mobile Command Center. Yeah, Spy Fox. I've always seen this game. Uh, they actually released. This on the Wii back back in the day. They released it on the Wii. 
All right, thank you for confirming the sound. I appreciate y'all. So yeah, they played this game was com um, ported over to the Wii. This game came out originally on PC in 1997, made by Humongous Games, who now mostly make those backyard sports games. You might have seen those too. All right, so let's take a look around and see what we got here. Trinkets. You know, it's a point and click adventure, so we have to point and click and have an adventure. And our first mission right now, we're supposed to go talk to our contact at the command center. And I'm sure. It says trinkets. Does indeed. Oh, what's this? Looks like it's closed. I love these kind of games because I just like clicking on things and see if they'll say anything different or something funny. And this game appears like it's going to have a lot of little one-liners. Oh, I love the animation of this. This the cartoon setting is really nice. It's beautifully uh, drawn. Nog. Feta Factory. Uh oh. Normally, I would karate chop my way right through a door. But <laughs> this one seems to be made of solid steel. Solid steel. Can't get in there yet. I click on the barrel, the fish jumps in. Well, that is a very um, strong fish. Interesting. I wonder what we're. That's going to. So I think some of this stuff will be handy in the future. I don't think we're supposed to be here yet. I like to get a look around, see where we can go, what we can do. So it looks like like shark took a bite out of this right here. Some tiny robot just popped out of that pole. So I always loved playing these kind of games growing up. When we first got a PC, I discovered these King's Quest games. Police Quest, Space Quest, Sam and Max. And I never got into playing Spy Fox. It came out in 1997. And back then it wasn't like super easy to get a hold of games. You know, you can just go. You could go to Walmart, but they didn't have a wide selection. You could go to like Babbage's. I know you probably I'm not sure if you guys remember Babbage's, but you know, basically GameStop. It says Greek Cantina. It says happy hour five to seven. Oh, we can get drunk between five and seven. The door's locked. Okay, so look most of the things that we can do at the moment. I guess the cantina doesn't serve breakfast. Well, I have to say that's <laughs> the first time I've ever been grateful I ate the airplane meal. Cantinas don't have breakfast, apparently. The door's locked. Oh, there's another game called Grim Fandango. I'm not sure if y'all ever played that. I love that game growing up. All right, I think this is the command center here. So we can go and there's a telephone. Well, come on. Here's where my notes go. I use the talk balloons to gather information. Five 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 six two two zero. How fortunate that Monkey Penny gave me this entrance code. Hello, you've reached the offices of Amalgamated Moo Juice Incorporated. Our staff is a little tied up right now, so we'll have to get back to you as soon as we're rescued. I'd better try another number. Oh, I thought I thought that's what he said. Five 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 six two three zero. Five 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 six two two zero. Two zero. Oh. Six. There we go. Hello, Bicor Mobile Command Center. Penny, <laughs> I've got your number. Oh, whoa, 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 what's happening? Oh, it's like an elevator. The phone booth is an elevator down to the headquarters. Love it. Now I love it. Person -to -person phone call. Glad you could drop in, Spy Fox. Hello, monkey. That's Monkey Penny. Monkey Penny. So what do Penny. you think of Skycorp's new Greek Island Mobile Command Center? Impressive. Disguising it as a half-buried boat in the middle of the town square with a stroke of genius. Nobody would ever notice that. That was Professor Quack's idea. Where is Quack? Oh, he'll be here soon. Where is Quack? We filled the spy gadget vending machine. Quack is whack, y'all. He sent a couple of things ahead for your mission. Good. 
because a spy without a gadget is like a shopping cart without a broken wheel. How apt. Now pay attention. This is Greek money. It's called drachma. You may need to buy a few things around here on the island. All right, we got some Greek money. And We're ready to go on a, a shopping spree. Brush. And I sure could use one after that airplane meal. Don't put that in your mouth. <laughs> it's not a regular toothbrush. It's a special laser it's a spy toothbrush. Laser <laughs> toothbrush. Nice. You hold the laser toothbrush, apply the minty fresh laser gel, push the button, then you can use it to cut through really Ooh. thick steel. Hmm. Oh, I like this. Got some fun gadgets to, to play with. Cavities. So, do we have any idea where Mr. Utterly is being held? Good way to create There's cavities. Not yet, but you might want to check out that feta factory down by the docks. Ah. Uh -huh. Factory, huh? Well, we know where that is. I smelled something suspicious. <laughs> All right, there's our first gadget. And we got some coin. Let's right, see if there's anything to look at in here. You know, some people say <laughs> life is like an empty vending machine. You put in your quarter and all you Secret get squirrel. I don't know if I ever watched that. Gee, you're in a depressing mood today, aren't you? Professor Quack will fill that vending machine up with spy gadgets as soon as he ah. arrives. So make like a doctor and have some patience. Okay. Act like a doctor and have some patience. Oh, a little mouse popped out. Whoa! I like this game. This is really cool. Oh, it's a scary movie. The spooky ghost is popping up. Oh, it's Hanna Barbera cartoon from way back in the day. I have to look at that one then. I have to check that one out. Oh, Spy Fox? You're going to be busy on this rescue mission. Should I call the Spy Academy and, and tell them to cancel the weapons class you're going to teach? What? You're going to tell them that Spy Fox doesn't have class? <laughs> They'll never believe you. <laughs> Alright, looks like we've done everything. Let's go ahead and go. Go check out the Nog Factory, the Feta. You know we didn't talk to this dude right here. My spy watch is beeping. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. Spy Fox here. Hi, Spy Fox. Remember, you can call me via your spy watch anytime for help and information. Just press the Mobile Command button. Will do. Spy. Fox Very nice. Out. I like the spy watch. So yeah, Babbage's. You never came across a Babbage's, huh? It was a pretty big store back in the day. They had, you hey, know, you could trade in games. See and my tattoo? Sure. Whoa. Well, that guy, he's, his tattoo. Your mother must be so proud. <laughs> <laughs> it does different ones every time. That's fantastic. Let's try it again. Aw, it's a dolphin. This guy's tattoo is very cool. It's the first animated tattoo. And it has many animations. Interesting. Oh, <laughs> we just got pied. Alright, well, let's go check out the factory. We're going to investigate this place. Okay. This door sure is shut tight. That feta must be extremely odiferous. I Here's where I keep. Let's see if we can bust up in here. <laughs> see now, he doesn't care if somebody knows it's him that did it. The laser toothbrush makes impervious steel doors. Pervious. There's an animated tattoo in the new Yars game trailer. What's Yars? Hey, what's up, Coon Mom? Good to see you, dude. I hope you've been doing good. Well, let's check this place out. The Feta Factory. Oh, there's a dude up there. Now that's a big side of beef. No buts about it. That's Mr. Utterly, all right. <laughs> He's dangling over a pool of piranha. Mr. Now, Utterly's in trouble. Is, how am I going to get his rump roast down from there? All right, let's see how we get him down. Hmm, this must be the temperature control for this pool of piranhas. Kind of an odd fixture for a feta cheese factory. 
The piranha pool seems to be getting colder. All right, let's keep it cold. The little beasties seem to be slowing down. Yeah, we gotta freeze them out. Life is the usual mare. It's a good way to put it. Hmm, Yay! Up. That should hold them. Now for Mr. Utterly. We're saving the day, baby. Look at Spyfire's got some moves. Oh, the piranhas want him. Ha ha, you suck, piranhas. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Mr. Early. You saved me. Thank yes, you, yes Mr. we did. Um, uh, Fox. Spy, Fox. Routine rescue, really? Now I need to get you to our mobile command center for a debriefing. Good. I need to change my pants. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to stop him, Mr. Fox. All right. Just calm down, Mr. Utterly. Oh, Why don't okay. I haven't watched that yet. And tell us what happened. Well, it all started as a typical day at the yeah, I haven't watched the indie when world yet. When you're as important yet. as I am, you're constantly fielding international cattle calls and reviewing grazing reports. Yep, you have to stay pretty sharp in the dairy business. Yars Rising. I'll have to take a look at that trailer. The indie world thing. What is he sharpening his pencil? So when William the Kid's thugs made their appearance, I immediately snapped into action. Oh, these guys mean business. There were dozens of them. I fought them. <laughs> there were dozens of them. Oh, 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 I did. My whole body's a weapon. Then suddenly, I smelled something revolting. This is really fun. I like this thing. a lot. Better cheese. 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 The stink was so overwhelming that I nearly passed out. Taking advantage of my momentary asphyxiation, kidnappers jumped me and then forced me into a smelly dark bag. They whisked me away to Kid's Secret <laughs> Island Fortress. It was just so humiliating being bagged up like a, like a piece of beef. But were you able to learn anything about what William the Kid is up to? Well, yeah, he does sound like Don Knox, that's true. On my part, I picked a few things up. Kid's demented scheme for gaining worldwide domination Nog was logo by here. a plus company called Nectar of the Goats Corporation. Nectar of the he Goats. He has a five-part master plan. First, capture all the dairy cows in the world. As you know, he's already done that. Second, he built that milky weapon of destruction inside his secret fortress. Third, use this milky so weapon to look of at this destruction yards game. to flood the capital with none too fresh dairy milk. Fourth, frame all the poor dairy cows for this heinous What crime. kind of game is it? Fifth, take over the entire Goat dairy milk. So see, they're Five trying to get goat milk to be the number one milk. that secret fortress and disarm that milky weapon of destruction. Hmm. Sounds challenging. I need to find that secret fortress and disarm that milky weapon of destruction. Oh, I almost Indeed. forgot. When we must find the it. kid's back was turned, I swiped the secret code that turns the milky weapon of destruction off. Good going. <laughs> Where is it? Uh, well, I had to swallow the code before I could read it so it wouldn't be discovered. Can you believe it? I find the whole thing a little hard to swallow. The Atari 2600? Oh, my, my. Oh, my, my. Someone needs to find that secret fortress and stop William the Kid. Hey, Dr. Quack's here. Let's have a chat with Dr. Quack. Good morning, Spy Fox. I took the liberty of loading the vending machine with some of my ingenious new spy guests. Ingenious. You should take a look at some of them, Spy Fox. They may come in handy. All right, let's take a look. Let's get us some items. X-ray gum. How does this work, Professor Quack? Ah, oh, that's my new and improved beef flavor x-ray gum. Beef flavored x-ray gum? <laughs> I'll explain how it works. You take a stick out, put it up against something beefy, move it around, and then you can see the yucky stuff inside. The best part of all is, when you are done, you can chew the gum. It actually has a very refreshing, beefy flavor. Wow. You know, four out of five dentists prefer x-ray gum for their patients who need x-rays. A duck needs his fiber. <laughs> he says fiber? All right, so we got the... It says we can put it on something beefy. So what should we put it on, Mr. Utterly? Humongous Entertainment Game. Good question, Kingmong. I was... 
I've been going down a rabbit hole lately. Refreshing my uh, memory on games I used to love when I was younger in the 90s. Of course, I grew up in the 90s. And I love to point and click adventure games. Or just, you know, King's Quest was like my favorite, some of my favorite ones. And then they had Space Quest and Police Quest and Sam and Max and Grim Fandango. Lots of different games. Oh, the Indiana Jones, Fate of the Atlantis. Lots of cool point and click games. And so I've been watching speedruns on them and histories of them. And I was talking to my friend Brendan about point and click adventures. And he told me he loved Spy Fox when he was young. And he's a little younger than me. I never heard of Spy Fox as far as... Well, I've seen Spy Fox. I've seen it around. You know, I've seen... I used to work in Toys R Us, so I've seen games. I've seen... I go on GameStop all the time. I'm on the internet, you know. So I've seen the cover of this game before, but I never thought it was a point and click adventure. I didn't even know that. And here we are playing it tonight because I'm just in a mood. I just want to play something cool. And Humongous Games, I do know that they still make the backyard sports titles and things of that nature. So let's see if we can use this gun on Mr. Utterly here. Now, if you don't mind, Mr. Utterly, I'm going to need to use got to investigate this guy. To take a look at those four stomachs of yours. This isn't going to hurt, is it? Because I'll get, I get the code. Dizzy when I think about pain. This is how we get the code. In fact, just saying the word pain makes me want to... Oh, oh they were from uh, LucasArts. That's interesting, Kuma. I didn't know that. And LucasArts made, man, back when they made uh, games, they made those Indiana Jones point-and-click games, the Grand Fandango. Man, I love those games. Meat Loaf. <laughs> Steak Roast. Oh, my God, that's hilarious. Oh, there's something in there. There's a tape recorder or something. If I had a wrench in me, I would wretch. Sloppy Joe's I disarm code. Dose. All right, now I need to find out where that diode is. Then use it to disarm the milky weapon of destruction. Oh, we found it. We did. If it. I had a wrench in me, I would wretch. <laughs> That's pretty cool. He did his ticker, his heart. If I could find. Oh, Mr. Utterly is passed out. The X-ray gun made him feel weird, apparently. Okay, so. Hey, according to Spycore's database, William Might as well talk to her. Three overdue library books. I always suspected kid had three overdue library books. You were far. You was far too old for these games. I mean, I don't know. I just like to. I think the experience for this game for me is going to be just. Spy Fox himself, I think he's a funny guy. I think it's entertaining. Just a, it is, this is for a younger audience, I would suggest. But it actually intended, I did read up on this game a little bit. They did intend this game for teenagers. It was meant for like an older youth, not like a young, young youth. I'm so nervous about those poor berry cows. They're so defenseless. You've just got to save them, Spy Fox. Oh, we're going to save them. Please. Oh, we don't are. have a cow about it. Don't have a cow about it. Oh, we've got another item. Let's check this out. What's in this egg-shaped container, Professor Quack? This is a little gadget I call the Spy Putty. I think this is a good game to kind of get your bearings for playing a point and click adventures yeah pajama to sam is the one that brendan told me about too then peel the putty off. You have a perfect copy. Hmm, that looks rather all right we got our silly putty so we can copy things what you don't know is that i thought of it first I like how he eats the blueprint after he gets done talking about it. Duplicator stole my idea. All right, another tool in our bay. We get to keep the x-ray gum, too. Sweet. So hopefully we'll be able to use that again. We might as well get every device that we can get. It appears get. to be a shoe. What is this gadget, Professor Quack? Every detective, oh, every spy, nice I should say, shoe. should have, like, a special magical shoe that has a cool function. 
You gotta have a sheet. If you happen to find yourself in a dark place, all you do is strap the shoe onto your head, <laughs> and then you can see in the dark. How illuminating. Who would have thunk it? A shoe on your head for light. Yes, and it has excellent arch support. I love that. I could... I don't know if that's very functional, but it's funny, though. How many... Oh, so many devices in here. Uh, I guess I need to... You'll do some exploring and come back. Yes, you do. You have soup, my brother. The soup does not disappear. All right, so let's look around. Oh, the tink the trinkets guy is open. Let's go check him out. Welcome to the Trinket Emporium. My name is Gilbert. How may I be of Gilbert service to the you? Bunny. Oh, honorable visitor to this, our dear island home. <laughs> I'm not sure yet. I was just noticing your fine selection of trinkets. Sir, I think that you will find we offer much more than mere trinkets. We pride ourselves on having the island's finest selection of rare and hard to find collector items and antiquities. Excellent. One never knows when they will be struck with an unquenchable desire to indulge you in never a know. blatant act you of never bourgeois know. consumerism. Our thoughts exactly, sir. All right, let's take a look. Wait a minute. Is that a genuine Teddy Roosevelt teddy bear? Circa 1902? Yes, they are very rare. It may even be on the endangered antiquities list. Endangered antiquities. How much is that cute stuffed kitty you have there? It is a little expensive, sir. But I would be happy to throw in some free stuffed kitty litter. Sleep does disappear. Everyone's sleep from before. Don't you believe it. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah, that's true. You're right. I did screw it up at one time. Such an <laughs> I did screw it up one time, okay? But now I know what to do. Obviously have good taste I know how to back it up and everything now. So we're good. We're good. Aren't those conical brimless hats called fezzes? If you say so. I've always wanted... I, I should have got a fez hat when I went to Istanbul, Turkey. I should have got one. I didn't do it. Let's see what happens when I do this when he's in the shop. See if it does anything. Oh, pour into the thing. What could anyone possibly do with a whole jar of trinkets? It could be a paperweight. <laughs> you could make a unique it could be lamp out of it. It could be a paperweight. turned on its side to roll out cookie dough. There must be a million and one uses. Oh, you got the Shriners face hat? Nice. Could you tell me a little about those pennants? Yeah, when, yes, uh, when I go to Istanbul again, I'm getting a, I'm getting one this time. Himself at the 393 AD Olympics. Okay, well, I'm sure we're gonna have to come over here and buy something from him at some point. So let's go up here to this place, see what we got. Nobody here yet. Wonder if anybody's that gonna be in the still locked. Anybody in the cantina? Ah, yeah, there we go. We got some action. Hi, honey. Welcome to the cantina. I'm Bee Bear. If there's anything She's I can Bear. get you, sugar, like for example, sugar, you just oh, you got to go to the Shriner right. Circus when you were younger. Bee. Thanks, Bee. I never got to go to anything like that. That would be fun. I bet that was fun. What's the trophy for? That's my cockadoodle foo trophy. I took lessons from man. Cockadoodle foo. At least until I punched his stuffing. Uh, it's supposed to be like a two-hour game, so I'm not sure. It might be quicker for us. We'll see. So, you like playing the tango, do you? Oh, yeah. The tango really swings you crazy, cat. Plus, it's the only I think music that, I have. That pig right there may be important. Let's go talk to him. Greetings. Interested in a little game of goldfish? Goldfish! Fox. Here we go. Spy Fox. I've been known to play Go Fish from time to time, and you are. I see. I, I did say something about this too. That there's a Go Fish sir. game. What do you say we make this game a little more interesting? Would you care to play some trinkets? Oh, I'm Bozo Circus would have been awesome. I would call a trinket. How unfortunate! Why don't you come back when you have some trinkets to play with? Hmm, oh, makes the game so much more interesting. There we go. Now we know what we're gonna need the trinkets. We need trinkets to play the game. So let's go talk to Crocodile Would you and Armadillo. Oh no. Nope. I'm afraid I don't have anything I would call a trinket. How unfortunate. Why don't you come back? I thought I was clicking on the alligator hmm, and the, the armadillo. Interesting. Okay. All right, well, now we know what to do. Thursday's special. 
No way, dude. You didn't get to play the grand. They almost picked you for grand prize game. It's the grand prize game. I love that. I always wanted to play it. I would have dominated that ping pong bucket, man. Tell me, what's the difference between a souvenir and a trinket? Souvenir is a French word meaning to <laughs> remember. Trinket is a Middle English word which means small shoemaker's knife. I hope that clears it up for you. <laughs> small sir. shoemaker's knife. All right, let's see if we can get. Another advantage to this fine kitty is that it would save you. I bet I've got to take my money and hand it sure, to him. Sure, because it's always stuff. Yeah, James Bond reference is cool. That's why I was kind of. I'd love to take your money, sir, but wouldn't you like to buy something? Of course. So, what's a jar of trinkets going for these days? Uh, normally, sir, they're 20 drachmas. But for you, how about 50? Sounds good to me. I'll take it. The jar is where it's at. We need the jar. It's kind of like chips for go, poker, sir. I suppose. Why, thank you. All right, well, let's go. Let's go play some go fish. Play go fish. It's an exciting game. Some big epic battles of go fish when I was growing up, playing with my brothers. Would you care to play with some trinkets? I just happen to have a whole jar. I have a whole jar. <laughs> Excellent. Then. I like a fox who is willing to play for trinkets with a pig who likes to play go fish <laughs> for trinkets. Place your trinkets on the table, and we'll get started. All right, no problem. We got this. How many's in here? So you like playing for trinkets, eh? All right, I'm game. Here's my trinket. Let's play. That's a lovely trinket you have there, sir. I'll play with this one. <laughs> I love this game. I love this. This is so fun. I love. It. All right, so it's time for go fish. Who? I'm gonna ask and see if they have a two. Got any twos? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Dang it. Oh, Got there we go. Aces. No. Got any threes? No. Go fish. Go fish, bro. Got any fives? Go fish, sir. Son of a gun. Got any nines? Oh, nice I thought he was gonna say queens. I'm like, it's dirty. Fish. This dirty guy, he's, tr he's he's cheating for sure. Got any queens? No, sir. Go fish. Dang it. Got any twos? Ah. Oh. He didn't have twos while ago. Got any sevens? Nope. Go fish. Man, he's killing me right now. He's killing me. Got any jacks? Go fish, Mr. Fox. Ah. Oh. Go fish, Mr. Fox. Got any eights? <laughs> This dude is wearing me out. I must apologize, sir. I am rather good at this game. <laughs> <laughs> got any sixes? Go fish. I haven't got one yet. Got any nines? Yay! Hard. Thank you so much. I got one. Got any tens? <laughs> Go fish. Son of a... Got Ugh. any fours? Nice try. He's got sixes. Go fish. He's got sixes, I think. I think he asked uh, for sixes. Delightful. Got any threes? Go fish. Hey, I had to get to go again. Got any sixes? Yeah. Right. Thank you so much. I still haven't got a set, though. Got any jacks? What Boom. What a fun game this is. I don't... Well, lying and go fish is a bad idea because you'll be found out at some point. Because you can't discard anything until you match them up. Got any queens? Go fish, sir. Come on, give me that, give me that, give me that. Ah. Uh, Aces. Nice try, but you need to go fish. Come on, king, come on, king. Got any kings? <laughs> go fish. <laughs> I like how he, he laughs when he knows that you don't uh -huh. have a card. Seven. Nice try, but you need to go. This is a battle. This is a battle, y'all. Got any fours? Yes, I knew it. Yes, finally. I love this game. We're on the board, guys. We're on the board. Got any nines? Go fish. Dang. Fox. Come on, come on, come on. Booyah. Aces. Nope. Go fish. 
We got another set. Got any fives? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Got any twos? Go fish. Man, we're getting close. Got any tens? Getting close. What yes. A fun game this is. We're on a roll, baby. Got any sixes? No, sir. Go fish. Got any sevens? Nice try, but you need to go fish. You gotta remember what he says, yes, so. I'm good. Son of a. Got any queens? Not a one, sir. Go fish. <laughs> this is a long battle. No, oh, don't ask, don't ask. Nope, go fish. Time for us to get his sevens. I know he's got sevens. Got any sevens? I'll just take those off your hands. Boom. Got any sixes? Go fish, Mr. Box. Come on, give me some, give me some. Boom! That's one set of cards taken care of. Sevens any belong to checks. me. Dang it! Got any threes? I thought you said you were good at this game. This Go is fish. intense. This is intense. Got any sixes? <laughs> go fish. Mm. Oh, there we go. When it comes to go fish. Mm. Got any tens? Oh. Got any jacks? Go fish. Yeah, suck it. We don't have any jacks. Got any sixes? Go fish, sir. Dang. Got any kings? Oh. Hmm, got any tens? Nice try, but you need to go. No, I took all my tens, man. Got any threes? Yes. I'll just take those off your hands. So far, I think he's being honest, y'all. I think he's being honest with his game. Got any queen? Oh, give me that, give me no, that, give me that. Go fish. I've always yes. been lucky when it comes to go fish. Got any sixes? Yes. Card. Thank you so much. Got any on a roll. fives? <laughs> Go fish. Come on, come on. Got any aces? <sighs> nice try, but you need to go fish. Kings, baby, here we go. Ah, yes. Another one for me, sir. <laughs> Got Listen, any get those kings. kings. I'll just take those off your hands. Yes, this another set. Just fine. Got any queens? Go fish, sir. Mm. I've yes! I've been lucky when it comes to go fish. Mm. Got any Making him sweat. Go fish. Making him sweat. Got any fives? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Not a one, sir. I like how he says that. <gasps> Got any sixes? Oh. It's okay. I'm going to take his aces, though. And that makes a set, sir. Hmm. Got any tens? Nope. Go fish. We go. Got any aces? Yeah, he does. I love this game. Got any queens? Yes. Right. Thank you so much. This suits me just fine. I'm a blow. Oh, man, I'm blowing this dude out. Go fish, Mister. Come on, give me five. Give me five. Give me five. Give me five. Oh. <gasps> mm, got any tens? Ah. Made in heaven, sir. How did he know? I win. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's right. You never lose. There's a first time for everything, Mr. Big. Baby. One first try, baby. I've played almost everyone on the island, sir. And I never met anyone who plays quite like you. You may be a very shrewd player, sir. But I hope you don't mind if I hog all the wins. <laughs> well, what do I do now? I'll beat him. You tried the food here, sir. It's the best on the island, I can assure you. I can't get enough of it. Well, I'm not sure what to do. I beat him. What can you tell me about that slick-looking lounge lizard over there? Him? Oh, that's Johnny Gecko. He wants to be the next Liberace. <laughs> he wants to be the next Liberace. If only he had that kind of talent. If only. So what do I do? I beat the guy. 
Oh, here we go. The people here must really love the tango. Yeah, they do, crazy fox guy. <laughs> oh, the card they games on yelling, Titanic. Play something else, play something else. But hey, the tango is all I got. Okay. So I beat him in the game. But what does that do? Alright, nobody there. That door is still locked. Was I supposed to get my trinkets? Noticing the stretched image. Would you care to play some trinkets? Please your trinkets. Yeah, it looks a little worse right start. here. Do I have to play him again? Let's play again. I want to see if I can get the upper ham on you this time. <laughs> Very amusing, Mr. Potter. So I got to play him again. Yeah, it, it's stretched out, but I, I don't think it looks too bad. I think it looks all right. Got any twos? Go fish, Mr. Fox. I wonder how many times I got to play him in this. Got any jacks? Yeah, he took a card got right off the bat. Aces. Oh, my... Got any nines? Go fish. Fixing to say you can see my hand. Got any twos? No, sir. Go fish. No, sir. Got any eights? Yeah, it's still just a pig. It don't look too bad, Sixes. right? It don't look too bad. Go fish. Got any fives? Yes. Got any queens? Not a one, sir. Go fish. Mm. Got any kings? Nice try, but you need Suck to Suck it, go don't fish. have any. So I'm not sure how long this takes to get. I'm not sure what I'm even supposed to be doing right now. Got any. Candy? But we're going to keep playing this. Apparently, yeah, you got to keep go playing fish. this. Oh, there got we go. Jacks. Nice try, but you need to go fish. Got any fours? Yeah! Boom. Got any queens? Go fish, sir. Oh, got that... any sixes? I know he has a king. Go fish. I have no idea. I just know that I'm playing him. I don't know got any if I'm supposed kings? to do anything. Did... I just clicked on him and it's like, hey, you need some trinkets to play. I'm like, all right, I figure there's a reason to play. Now I can talk to Mr. Big Pig about some of the folks I've met on the island. Oh, what the heck? Have you tried the food here, sir? It's the best on the island, I can assure you. I can't get enough of it. So I'm not sure why I clicked that. I've played almost everyone on the island, sir. And I never met anyone who plays quite like you. What? You may be very shrewd player, sir, but I hope you don't mind if I hog all the winnings. Okay, so mm -hmm. I hate to leave such a challenging opponent, but I have some bigger fish to catch right now. Do you mind if I leave my jar of trinkets here? Go right ahead, sir. Come back any time. Okay. It wouldn't let me do anything as a reason. Play with some trinkets. Place your trinkets on the table, and we'll get started. Oh, I see what happened. Okay, so I beat him in the game. Means if I, when, when I do need to talk to him, I can talk to him. Okay, I think that's what that means. And then I can just come back and uh, play a game with him and talk to him. Hey, according to SpyCore's database, William the Kid has three overdue library books. I always suspect library he books. Has some latent criminal tendencies. Is this coin really a spy gadget, Professor Quack? Ah, that's the spy trap. Let me explain how it works. It looks like an ordinary coin, like you might find in the street. But if you need to trap three or William, four bad guys, the, kid. the coin <laughs> explodes and a net shoots out. It traps. Oh, we can catch enemy. somebody. Nice, huh? Heads I win, tails they lose. 
I'm looking at these spy gadgets and I'm see what's left and see what's in here. Maybe I, they'll come in handy. What handsome couplings. Are they gadgets as well, Professor Quack? Those are the suction cufflinks. Suction cufflinks? I am very proud of them. They are tiny suction cups that allow you to climb across Sucks -o -matic the 2000. <laughs> The perfect fashion accessory for the well-dressed spot. I think I need those. I think I'm gonna try to climb up the boat. Mm, that was a tasty one. Those mm. are the suction cufflinks. Yeah, we're gonna take those. Our repertoire is full. Mmm, it looks like a delicious snack. May I eat this, Professor Quack? Okay, that's the cheese and safe cracker kit. Cheese and safe cracker. Oh, it opens a safe. It will help you to get into almost any safe in the world. I won't explain exactly how it works because it's very Probably shouldn't because we wouldn't understand. Trust me when I say it works like a charm. And it tastes great in soup. <laughs> it tastes great in soup. <laughs> Yeah, and this paper isn't half bad. Okay, so now let's just go exploring. I think we did what we were supposed to do with the pig. I believe we were able... Like we beat him in the game, so now we can go talk to him. We want to. Oh, wait. Here we go. We need an invitation to this. That's quite a nice little toy boat you got there. Is it yours? Oh, yes, sir. And that is why I'm standing out here at this podium on this filthy, seagull-stained dock <laughs> talking to a sophisticated wannabe like you. So, it's not your boat? No. It belongs to my boss. Belongs to my boss? Pardon me, sir, but just where do you think you're going? On board? Sir, you are obviously making a little joke. No one, I'm here for the party. no one is allowed to go on board the SS Deadweight. Why can't I be part of the party? Wax sealed, expensively embossed, handwritten invitation. And do you have one of these, sir? But I Not want to be such. here. Then I'm afraid, sir, that you should make like a plane in the Bermuda Triangle and get lost. I wonder if the suction cups will help me get up the boat. I can gather information about the deck party with this. Huh. Here's where I keep... I know I can find a better way into the deck party. Alright, fine. I was hoping we could climb up the side of the boat. That'd be fun. That makes the Oh, did you see that mouse? <laughs> so what would this do if we get the piranha hot? Too hot. Uh, we're torturing a piranha now. But that's all that's for. Piranha. I wonder what a South American fish that can eat creatures alive has to do with making cheese. I have a feeling this is no ordinary feta factory. Oh, I can talk to uh, the pig that's about him. Okay. Now, I see what's going on. I see what's going on. I figured things out. I'm figuring things out, y'all. So, I need to go talk to Mr. Pig about this dude. And we can see what he knows. Because he knows everything. Time to go into the cantina. What do you know about that weasel of a doorman over there at the SS Deadway? <laughs> Don't go chasing the waterfalls, little fox. <laughs> Don't go chasing That's the waterfall. Bye, fox. Trot your nosy little self over to the souvenir stand. That rabbit is friendly with the weasel you speak of. But remember, the walls have ears here on the island of Acidopolis. I respect your advice. The rabbit Thank you. is friends. All right, now we know to talk to the rabbit. We're getting somewhere. Although the rabbit don't come across as the most friendly, right? We're still gonna go ask him about it. I noticed that there was a party going on down on that big ship at the docks. 
But I understand you can only go if you were invited. That is true. In fact, I am going as soon as I get off work. Oh, so you got an invitation. I certainly did. It is really a fancy schmancy one, too. Would you like to look at it? Why, yeah. 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 I it's time for the silly putty. I'm smart, y'all. Smart. I wonder if he'll let me do it. I can't copy the invitation while he's looking right at me. So maybe I can do something to distract him. It's true. We gotta distract him. What can we do? Brendan! Hoop! My brother, what's going on? Hmm. How can I make this turn the other way? The memories are gonna flow back to you, bro. Alright, let's see. Here's where I keep my spy gadget. What can I do to distract this guy? No, that's not gonna do it. Distraction, distraction. Come on, we gotta come up with a distraction. Rainbow Wolf, welcome to the stream. How you doing? See my tattoo? <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> hey, you want to see my tattoo? That's crazy. I love that tattoo. That's hilarious. All right, so distraction, distraction, distraction. All right, let's try this again. Do you think it would be okay if I borrowed your invitation? Of course not, but I will let you peruse it again. You gotta buy him, bro. You, Brandon, you gotta buy him, bro. You gotta buy him. Let's see. Let's throw some money at him. I can't bear to pass up a deal like this. I'll take the teddy bear. Let me just get that for you. Okay, 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 ah. okay. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Distraction complete. Booyah. Oh, for Invitation's mine. You're doing this to me on purpose, aren't you? Yes. Yes, I am. All right. Thanks, bro. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Now, let's go uh, get in this party. Not you again. I have an invitation. Do I have to tell you? This is a private party, and without an invitation, you are not allowed to go on board. I am allowed. I have one. Sheesh. The nerve of some people. You'd think they would <laughs> we are the champions. Signed, yeah, Brendan, I played a game of Go Fish while ago against a pig. I defeated oh, him, sir. which gives me the right to ask so him about anybody and everybody that I want to. Please, which I really like. Why, thank you. How gracious of you. Okay, let's get on in here. I trust you will have an enjoyable visit. And if there is any way Thank you, Weasel. We appreciate it. More, sir. I trust you will let him know. Ethan. Of course. B. What's up, brother? Welcome to Spy Fox, baby. How, are, are you a Spy Fox fan? Oh, this is the deck party. Before I join the festivities, I should let Monkey Penny know I'm here. Spy Fox to This is my first time playing. I'm really liking it. It's really, it's just really clever fun. How's the mission progressing? I just made it onto the. You didn't play this one. This is the very first one. Look around. So. Keep your eyes peeled for clues as to where William the Kid's secret fortress is. A, kid's fortress is a so diabolical secret. goat has stolen spies, all of the dairy cows. And we are good at our job. Spy and it's our fox. job to figure out where they are and rescue them because we are eating dry cereal right now. We don't like dry cereal. Do you play an instrument? Oh, I've been known to pick up a trumpet every now and then. Oh, you never played it. Then inevitably, they did release this on the Wii. Again. I, I read that today. So there was a port to the Wii. This game came out in 1997. Oh, this lady looks important. Hello. You must be... Russian Blue. Noted socialite and attractive owner of the SS <laughs> Attractive Wii. owner. Spy Fox. Would you care to dance? I like his name is Spy Fox. I would love to, Mr. Fox. But there is only one dance on this planet I will dance to, and that is the tango. 
I love the tango. The tango. Do you know why I love the tango, Mr. Fox? That funky beat? Because it takes two to tango. It takes two. I've That's why she likes it. That. Hubba, hubba, hubba. Can wait another year. I'm sure Humble Bundle will have the humongous pack again. I can gather information about Russian blue with Beholder 2. Oh, yeah, Mr. Hooper. We got, I haven't got a chance to try that yet. And, um, well, I bought this. I got all five of the Spy Fox games for $8. Uh, on a, and I went to one of those, you know, key websites. Kingwin. I went to kingwin.net. And somebody was selling it for eight bucks for every game. I was like, well, that's fair. It's a fair price. Those are piranhas. All right. Can't talk to any of these people. All right, let's go check out what's up here. Oh, we, that was that easy just to get to the controls of the ship. <laughs> we can just push whatever we want. Radars and stuff. Oh yeah, this is exactly. I mean, this. It's a smart letting anybody come in here. <laughs> it's a casino. Oh, I wonder what happens if we if we win. Oh, I thought we just had three cherries. Come on, give me big money, big money, big money. Nope, big money, big money, big money. The demos. We, well, you know, they make the backyard sports games these days. But this is back in the, when they got started. They were making these kind of games. Which I'm a point-and-click adventure fan. I love them. I'm just going to keep doing this until I win something. Or not. I'm just going to stop. Oh, well, did I win? No, nope, I did not. Whoa, what just happened? I tore something up. Something is broken. What is this, an ant? Sorry, you can't see him. I'm in front of it. My bad, y'all. There he goes. He's He was right behind me, unfortunately. <laughs> Polar bear on an iceberg. See, this is just, this is just a fun little game. It's It's... it's you know, it's not an advanced point-and-click adventure. So, I don't know what to do up there yet. Oh, okay. I can go ask the pig about her. Can't go talk to those guys. I want to go over there to the other part of the ship and do the whole, uh, I am king of the world, but can't get over there. All right, so let's go talk to Mr. Pig about her. See what we can find out. He's our insider. Guys, you got to know how to play. Your Go Fish game needs to be strong, okay? Always scum VM. But we probably can't talk about that. Yeah, we can. Um, this game is... I bought this game. I bought the game, and then this, the keys are for Steam, right? So you put it in, and you, down, you put them in Steam, and you activate them. Now they're in my Steam library. Well, guess what you do? You download the game... And it comes with scum. This is how this actually uh, operates now. Scum is actually pretty standard for these older games. Like, do you know? They I'm package Russian them together. Blue, sir. I do. Can you offer any information? Hmm. It depends on your game, little fox. Russian Blue is known to be acquainted with William the Kid. Yes. Oh, in, she's acquainted with William the Kid. The kid. I'd love to somehow... William the Kid's a goat, by the way. Blue. I'm sure Monkey Penny could help me out on that. All right, we could talk to Money Penny. Let's see if we can call her. Please stand by. Hi, Spy Fox. Have you found William the Kid's secret fortress yet? Not yet. Have you been able to find any more clues on the Spy Core computer? Not yet. Let's keep snooping around. I'm sure we'll find something. Oh, I can't just call her up. So I have, to, I'm, I have to go physically talk to her. Can't do it over the phone. Over the, uh, the iWatch. The Apple Watch. So I guess I need to ask her specifically about this. Monkey Penny, 
What can you tell me about this Russian? Yeah, you wouldn't like it if you call him Billy the Goat Kid. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Direct your attention to Billy Goat the Kid. Here's what the Spy Corps database has on it. Name. Russian Blue. She also goes by Ms. Blue, Old Blue, and Kitty Kitty Kitty. Kitty Occupation. Kitty Kitty Meow. Owner and operator of the SS Deadweight. Head of public relations for NOG. Close associate of William the Kid. And one bad kitty. Known felony, <laughs> indecent tangling. One acquitted. bad kitty. Dancing with intent to tango. Acquitted. J tangling. Acquitted. Tangling out of season. Acquitted. Comments. Russian Blue is obviously in cahoots with William the Kid. She She's is not only very dangerous, a criminal when it comes to the tango. A perfect source of information regarding kids whereabouts. Interesting. It sounds like I should keep an eye on her. Better still. Why don't you slip one of our tracking bugs into her purse? Then we can trace her movements all over the island. Walter Wireless is ready to go. Hey, Walter. Oh, we've got a new Russian item. Blue followed. <laughs> I'm your bug. I'm on her like fleas on a dog. Or a cat, as it were. Excellent. Glad to uh, have you aboard, Walt. Hop in. I love Walt as the man. Alright, so now we got Walt. We can plant him on her. We can plant a bug. Literally. I wonder if they do speed runs of this game. I'll have to look into it. Because some of the stuff you can't skip, like you gotta do that goldfish game. Alright, come here, Walter. Let's go, bro. I need to distract Russian Blue so she'll set Oh, I need to change this music. Let's see. I have to say, you certainly have a unique conducting style. Thank you, sir. It runs in my family. My father was a train conductor. Now, if you don't mind, I'm a very busy. I do. I just want you to, to play a different music. Let's see. Here. Maybe I can tell him. Tell me about Russian Blue, Maestro. She throws a party like none other. I hear that a good tango puts a spell over her, too. What do you mean? Oh, it's all the rumors, you see. This crowd prefers a waltz anyway. I see. Thank you, sir. Okay, so how do we change it to tango? How did your interest in the tango begin? It's as if I was born with it. But the truth be told, Mr. Fox, the tango is a wonderful form of aerobic exercise. Hmm. What's <laughs> that? You click on random things and random things happen. <laughs> Somebody just spilled something up there. Alright, so how do we change the music to tango? How do we do it? Interesting. That's what we gotta do. We gotta change the music. So what do we do? What do we do? I'm open to suggestions, by the way. Okay, so I got that. Let's see. Hmm. What do you think you're doing? Nothing. Just looking. Ah. In the lounge, that one guy's playing the tango. Oh, is he? Yeah. Yeah. Barefoot with the wind, baby. All right, let's go back to the cantina. Let's talk to dude. See if he can come play the to tango. Look at that. Barefoot, good memory. All right, let's see. Excuse me. What do you know about Russian blue? I got the music in me. Ow, ow. <laughs> ow, ow. I got the music in me. <laughs> yeah. Huh? What? Russian blue. Do you know her? That cat tangles like there's no tomorrow. Hmm. Perhaps I could trade you something for your tango music. Sure, crazy fox guy. But it'd better be some other sheet music because I'm in the middle of a gig here and the show must go on. Hmm. How can we trade him the music? The 
Let's see if this place is open yet. Nope. It's not. Oh, let's try something. I can't get in there until someone unlocks the door. Or we can climb up the wall. No, we can't. Hmm. Hey, wanna see my tattoo? <laughs> oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. I wonder if that putty, if we can copy the, the sheet music of that too. Let's see if we can somehow do it. No, we can't. We have used it. You stop that now. Pardon me. I thought one of the pages was about to fall. I wonder if I can take it. Ah, he turns around every time. But you're in my way here. Excuse me. I thought I left something here. Hmm. Here's where I keep my spy gadget. He's good. What do you think you're doing? Nothing. Just looking. I don't know if I can do the t if the timing would work. I don't know. You stop that now. Pardon me. Okay, we got to distract him somehow. Dun, 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 dun. Let's go back to the gadgets. Let's look at those. I don't see anything here that would distract him. I don't suppose you've been able to get the Asti Spumoni fixed yet. You know what the word procrastination means? You should look it up sometime. It will explain everything. Spy Fox, if you need anyone to watch your back while you're out there, just let me know. I wonder if he can well, watch our back. Buddy's a weapon. Uh, yeah, I'll keep that in mind, Mr. Utterly, especially if I need some help in counterintelligence. Okay, let me talk to her again. Hey, according to Spy Corps' database, William the Kid has three overdue library books. I always suspected Kid had some latent criminal tendencies. It's probably something very simple. I was just got to think here. So, what's the secret to your business's success? Three things: location, location, location. That's one thing. What do you know about Russian Blue? I know that her greatest passion in life is the tango. It virtually puts her into a trance. That's why I'm taking tango lessons. I see. Hmm. Where are we getting sheet music at, y'all? Where are we getting it? Where is it at? Because dude won't give us his because he won't trade. Let's click on the music. It's no, I can't click on it. Could I borrow your tango music? <laughs> Absolutely, you kooky kid. If I had some other sheet music, but this is all I have, and the music must go on. You know what I mean? Hmm. All right, barefoot. We'll try the timing again. Well, why not? Right? I'm not seeing any obvious solutions. So that might as well try it. We might as well try it. in a waltz napping before I mean it got it first try too look at that got it first try as we came back wow uh. <laughs> isn't that something isn't that something thank you for the GG oh my god it's always the simplest solutions usually though barefoot thanks for pushing me back to that What would you think about playing something a little slower? I do love the animation in this game. I like it. Man, I would if I could. So, 
Unless you've got some new sheet Shoo. music for me, the tango extravaganza continues. Would you trade me some of your tango music for some of this waltz music? Would I? I've been dying for some new tunes. Thanks. <laughs> no, no, no. Thank you, Mr. Too Cool for a Foxy White Suit Jacket Guy. You are what? beautiful, baby. Don't go changing. Nah. Give this gentle fox a Brussels sprout soda. Don't and go changing. Nah. We don't have a tab, Johnny. Too bad. We don't have a tab. <laughs> All right, so let's go park. Now we'll switch out the music. This shouldn't be too hard. It's time to get this girl mesmerized. All right, let's make sure he turns around. What do you think you're doing? Oh, he got me. Nothing. What? Just looking. He caught me. Okay, you gotta do it right before he turns. Hmm, I guess you can teach old dogs new tricks. Give me that cat in the bucket, baby. And some Mobrock I'll show you. Yeah, baby. There she are. <laughs> Here goes the tango, yeah. <laughs> that cat certainly knows how to change. Had a, but I've got a few moves she hasn't seen yet. He t he switched it back to the waltz. Excuse me, but you're in my way here. Excuse me, I thought I left something here. It takes tiles to tango? I don't know what that's from. It's amazing what a difference a little sheet music can make. All right, I gotta get away from her, I think. No, don't. Stop dancing with me. Get it, get it, get it. Come on, right here, right here, right here. He's gonna toss it in. <laughs> He parachuted in. That's amazing. I love to tango. Norma Desmond would be disappointed. Thank you for the divine tango, Miss Blue. Okay, now we're gonna find out what the secret layer is. Oh, nice. got, better answer my spy watch. We got a, could be about we got a message. Will you stand by? Hello, Monkey Penny. What's up? Spy Fox, one of our informants, Mata Harry, has turned up some vital information. Sunset Boulevard. To complete your mission. Sunset Rodney Boulevard in front of is the, the answer. Of the goat's factory door. Whoa, she's in front of that. We interrupt this program to bring <laughs> you a special spy report. Let's go to a close-up for this one, Steve. <laughs> this is Walter Wireless, your undercover tracking bug, coming to you live inside the purse of Russian Blue. Just moments ago, Russian Blue ran off her boat, jumped in her sports car, and sped out of the parking lot. Do you have any idea where she's headed? We are uh, not that I'm aware of. I couldn't like speak to it, at least. I may have seen it. An unknown location. We have just taken a sharp left, now a right. She is driving <laughs> like a wildcat. I'll bring you more on this breaking story. She's driving and, like a wildcat. The car seems to be slowing down. Yes, it's come to a complete stop. I can't tell what's happening yet. Hang on. Oh, no. My cover has been compromised. Mayday. Mayday. For Spycore News, no. this is Walter Wireless <laughs> signing off. Walter Wireless. Uh, he's not going to make it. What the hell? <laughs> did you see that, Monkey Penny? I sure did. You better see if you can pick up his trail. Professor Quack finished his repairs on your car. I'll have it waiting oh, for you sweet. in the town square, just behind the mobile command center. Let's go. Hurry, Walt was one of our best field bugs. 
And don't forget about meeting up with the informant. Mark oh, Mary, okay. You wrote a musical of it in the like 90s? Bye, Fox. Didn't they make a TV show called that, too? I could be mistaken. I need to follow the trail Walter left for me on the spy radar. Oh, there's our car. <laughs> what the heck? How did we? What? I guess I gotta click sooner. There we go. Oh, he's drilling. That is a sweet car. <laughs> yes, we landed. You just gotta think fast on these sections. Oh, he turns into a submarine? He's got the sweetest car ever. Alright, we made it. There he is. Alright, let's get out. Interesting. This was probably a nice place until someone came along and ruined it. I'm right over here, Spy Fox. Walter, what happened? Where did Russian Blue go? Sorry, Spy Fox. Very My jealous, came on. Very. I thought I was going to get squashed there for a second, but luckily she dropped me and ducked into a well, secret luckily. passageway. I need to bug out of here. She mentioned something about an exterminator, and I don't have my gas mask. Yeah, you'd better get going. Thanks for your help, Walt. My pleasure. Until next time, this is Walter Wireless signing off. And that's the way it is. That's the way it is, way it's always gonna be. Alright, so we gotta figure out this. Odd. The Greeks didn't use hieroglyphics. Wait a second. I recognize it now. It's the ancient hieroglyphic language of the infamous Minoan Musaka cult. My Musaka hieroglyphic reading is a little rusty, but I know I can figure this out. This symbol stands for happy. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> this symbol means fat. <laughs> means fat. All right, let's see. What do we have that Here's kicks where I keep my... Sp that's not going to do me any good. It's true. It's not going to do me any good. Yeah, it looks like it is the bank vault. How do... I need the thing. Fun. Please stand by. Spy Fox, I'm glad you checked in. I just heard from our informant, Mata Harry. She's wondering where you are. Oh, right. Is she still waiting for me by the docks? Yes, but she says she's getting a little drain. Please hurry. Uh, well, how do I, hopefully I can travel quickly back here and don't have to click all that crap again. That would be very disappointing. Okay, alright, alright. I'm like Matthew McConaughey. Alright, alright, alright. Now, what is this No, don't. No. You ah. Yeah, okay. They will skip it. What you miss, Rainbow Wolf? We have trailed the um, Russian kitty cat to the secret lair. And we're about to go crack the code and figure out what's going on. And I'm also supposed to meet somebody out here at the docks. So I'm going to check that out. Oh yeah, the million dollar giveaway, I uh, gave it away, and uh, the winner was me, surprising. <laughs> I know, but I did win. 
So I apologize for you guys Monkey getting your hopes up. to meet Mata Harry here. I wonder where she's hiding. I found her. Banana gets peeled at midnight. And the grapes are squished. A banana gets peeled at midnight. Hello. It's a giraffe. Hi, Mata Harry. What do you have for me? I intercepted what I think may be some sort of code well, password, think. but I have no idea what it means. I'm sure it's important. Oh, well, yeah, don't forget to click All that right. like button on the stream Let's tonight for having a good time. I will sure would appreciate it. The weak black cat. What a curious phrase. I'm sure you'll figure it out, Agent Fox. You always do. That's true. I do. All right. Spy Our Fox is very smart. Another lead. Ta -ta. Thanks, Ta -ta. A hiding place like that must be really draining for her. <laughs> oh, must be really draining for her. We're getting some. Uh... The weak black cat. The weak black cat. Huh. The weak black cat. All right. So that's a phrase that we do know we have now. All right, so let's go back to the mansion thing and do our little research, do our little safe cracking thing. Yes, thank God it takes us right back. All right, let's see. Let's do this. That's not going to do me any good. Oh. I don't have to roll over and play dead to know that this symbol means dog. Oh, that's dog. Where's cat? Oh, there's cat. Dog. Okay, black cat. Black. This hieroglyphic means black. Then cat. This must be a part of some sort of secret password or code phrase. This one has nine lives. It means cat. All right, let me listen to this thing again. The weak black cat. The weak. The weak black ah. cat. Ah. Ha, ha, ha. The wimpy this arm. This I hope William the Kid turns out to be. Weak. Looks like this secret passage isn't so... Yeah! So it was... <laughs> so it was really the giraffe that helped us. Okay, let's see. That water has a nasty bite to it. Call it a snap judgment. They don't pay me enough to go into pools of snapping turtles. Now, if they were clapping turtles, here's where I keep my... These suction couplings should help me form a closer attachment to this wall. Time to suction across. <laughs> I love it. All right, so we gotta walk, watch our timing here. This is no time to just be hanging around. I can find a better place to take a nap. This is no time. Oh, oh, oh. oh, come on. This is no time to hit the showers. It gave me an extra click I, I didn't want. Oh, we don't take them off. Okay, good. Son of them! If they think I'm all washed up. Okay. Come on now. <laughs> That's a BS man. When I finally catch William the Kid. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, baby. Yeah, third time's a charm. In case I need to make a fast getaway later. Probably gonna have to. You know, I should have brought. Better let Monkey Penny know I made it inside Kid's Secret Fortress. We're inside, baby. Was it not the third? Maybe it was the fourth. Fourth time's the charm. I'm glad you checked in. How's it going? Smooth. 
As smooth as sandpaper underpants. I just got as smooth as sandpaper <laughs> underpants. Now you've got to disarm that milky weapon. I gotta use some of these phrases in real life. Like swimwear, it's going as smooth as out. sandpaper underpants. Alright, we got a thingy over there doing something. Let's take a look at this thing. Hey, it's uh, GLaDOS from Portal. Oh, we gotta get a costume on. <laughs> we got booted. Alright, Barefoot, have a good one, brother. Okay, so let's go to the door up here then. Interesting. This looks like some sort of locker room. <laughs> I like how the arrows like this one here. This one. It's a secret passageway. Interesting. Oh! What a clever secret entrance. William the kid can go from the town square to his secret fortress anytime he wants. Just will. like that. <laughs> oh my god. So this is Billy the Kid's office right here. Oh, I like this. This is pretty fun. You click on all these photos. Grande Fromaggio. Oh, right. Italian for the big cheese. How the dope. big cheese. Yeah, I like that. I like the clickables. I'm entertained. I'm entertained here, Kunmo. This is this is good for me. This is good for me. I'd better leave this door unlocked in case I need to get back in here later. I love it. All right, so let's go. So I think we need to get all the other gadgets, maybe. Here's where I keep yeah. my spot. This is no ordinary coin, is it? Nope. Stop talking. Stop talking. No. That's one of those spots. I keep thinking I gotta click the item to get it out, and then it's just the button. Alright, I think I've about used all the stuff. We are overgrown kiddos. I agree, Kuma. I know I am a hundred percent overgrown kiddo. Alright, we've got everything we need. We've got all the gadgets. So let's go back to the place. I love that they set this up where you make it easy to get back and forth. It makes me happy. I wonder what this diagram is for. It oh. looks strangely significant. Is that for that cruise ship thing? I think it is. Let's go look at that and see. I think it is for that cruise ship where we're trying to do that thing. The um, we're trying to win the prize, you know, slot machine thing. Maybe not. You know, I don't think this is what that was for. I don't think that I was right about that. I'm going to go back. I think it's for something inside of that place. It's got to be. I was thinking way too outside the box there. Because I'm like, I got to start thinking like this is made for young people. So they're not going to think that random poster on the wall in the secret hideout is going to relate back to the cruise ship that we were on. It's probably not something they're going to put together. Uh, 
Ooh, look at the stinky laundry. I need an outfit. It's a butterfly. Ew. What is coming out the floor? That's nasty. There's our uniform. A yellow jumpsuit. I'll bet this is the official Nectar of the Goats uniform. Nectar no of the Goats. In one of these. All right, let's go ahead and put that dude on. This Nectar of the Goats jumpsuit might be just the thing I need. We need, need that guy on right now. On the kid. Uh-oh, someone's coming. There's the spit. And there's the, the control panel right there. Oh, it's the lady from the Lady Blue, Russia Blue, whatever her name is. Oh, here we go. That's the dastardly William the Kid. William the so Kid. Worked up about. Ms. Blue, take this diode and put it back where it belongs. It's the only thing that can disarm my milky weapon of destruction. Oh, we gotta steal that from her so now. Keep it safe. Right away, your imperial goatness. Your imperial goatness. Money in your bank account. Thanks for all your help. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Call me anytime. Call me, and I'll be there. I need to get my hands on that diode he mentioned. <coughs> Okay, so we got this. This looks exactly like that diagram over in the locker room. Now I need to move these levers to the positions shown in the diagram. All right, I did. If I don't remember the diagram, I can always go back to the locker but I did. room to check it Is again. Is this not it? Hot butter. There's kids' giant milk carton. Let me go back and look at it. I thought that was it. Oh, what's this? this? Must be where William the Kid keeps his controls for the Milky Weapon oh. of Destruction. I should let Monkey Penny know I've made it here. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. We must check in. Stand by. Spy Fox, good to hear from you. What's up? I'm in William the Kid's control room. The launching panel for the Milky Weapon of Destruction is right here. Great. Now, all you have to do is find the missing diode so you can disarm that Milky Weapon of Destruction. We're right. going to get it. That shouldn't be We're going to get it. Spy Fox out. Okay, that's all we got left to do on that. All right, so let's go back to... How do I get back to that diagram? Oh, it was up there. The sooner I can get those conveyor belts moving up, the sooner I can ride them to the top. What was it this thing I went in? Well, let's go back and look at the diagram. I thought I had it down, but apparently not. Oh, I had it the opposite. Okay. I've been itching to take this jumpsuit off. I think whomever this belonged to had fleas. But... I'm this saying, we need it back on. Nightmare. I should leave them the name of my tailor. Alright, so it was the opposite of it. My brain tricked me. If I don't remember the diagram, I can always go back to the locker room to check it again. I know, I know. It's this way. <laughs> and there we go. Up and at him, baby. All right, looks like we're gonna ride in this little. <laughs> this must be some sort of tram to take people around in Kid's Fortress. Goat milk? <laughs> I said I got milk. Goat milk. It looks like a billboard. All right, let's go into the electrical room here. Interesting. All these hyperactive gerbils must be the power source of kids' evil machinery. Oh, 
Oh, we just showed it off. What? The power went out. Those greedy gerbils and their carrots drive me batty. Now I have to walk all the way down that long corridor. Okay. This lever seems to be a gerbil on and off switch. All right, now we're going to use our shoe. So we can look around. I'll have to thank Quack for his enlightened taste in footwear. With the power off, it's safe to snatch a diode. But which one do I need? Oh, crap. Are you serious? I need to put the other diode back first before I can get a new one. Well, dang it. The power's on again. I gotta... I should take this silly-looking shoe off before someone sees me. <laughs> silly shoe that makes a lot <laughs> Alright, we got some cool uh, little animation here. We just work here, bro. I hope I got the right one. I doubt I did. Because I didn't know I was supposed to look at a certain one. Well, that took a forever. There must be a shorter way to get to that radio room. Gotta be. Oh, this is where he's at. All right, we don't go there yet. Let me go back to the diode thing. All right, let's see if we got the right one. I need to get that diode in this control panel in order to disarm Kid's milky weapon of destruction. All right, I don't know. I hope this is the right diode. Uh-oh, looks like I got the wrong diode. All right, so how do I know which one's the right one? I need to get that diode in this control panel in order to disarm Kid's milky weapon of destruction. How do I know which one's the right one? Kid's diabolical milk carton curdles my stomach. He must be stopped. I need to get that diode in this control panel in order to disarm Kid's milky weapon of destruction. I don't know. I'm confused. This is going to be annoying, isn't it? Gerbils could use a rest. Absolutely. They definitely need a break. Eureka! I can see! Now I just... I see the diode I need. At least I think that's the one I need. Man, I couldn't tell you. Maybe it's this one. We'll try the one with the dots on it. Match the other dots. The power 
Sandbar's on again. I should take this silly looking shoe off before someone sees me. Oh, come on. Why did you to make me do that again? Jeez. I was about to get on my nerves there. It's like, come on. You're gonna make me go through that again? All right, let's try this again. I hope this is the right diode. Uh oh, looks like I got the wrong diode. Nah. Gotta be a clue somewhere. So let me go see if I can go into William the Kid's place and see if there's some kind of like clue. Because I don't want to keep doing that over and over again. Oh, this must be Kid's secret volcano office. Must be. Yes, no, the green and red. What? 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 I can draw, what? Draw the picture? This is going really good. <laughs> Man, I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think we know what we're supposed to do in there just yet. <laughs> I just took our picture. It's just, that was weird. I don't know if, if that's anything we're supposed to know what to do yet. Or something for the future. Oh, pardon me. I didn't know anyone was in here. What are you doing in here? This room has restricted access. I'm just taking a look around. Routine inspection. So, are you always in here? Always. I never leave. Unless, of course, there's a real emergency. I admire your rabid sense of devotion to such work. Well, there's enough electricity pulsing through those diodes to power all of Athens. What a thirsty city. That's a lot of juice. Okay, so we took that. Man, I think maybe it's going to be this plus sign. Let's just go. We'll just try the plus sign one next. Oh, come on, don't make me walk all through the... Come on.
I figure these gerbils could use a rest. They actually could. The perfect shoe for some... I see the diode I need. At least I think that's the one I need. I'm trying the plus sign one. Somebody turned the power back on. I should take this silly looking shoe off before someone sees me. Can we get it this time? The suspense is killing me. I hope this is the right diode. Uh oh, looks like I got the wrong diode. What? I mean, I don't know where you would get a clue. I need to get that diode in this control panel in order to disarm Kid's milky weapon of destruction. I'm so confused. So it's like one of those trial and error things. Let me go back in that room, see if there's something that give us a clue. I've made an informed decision to take this uniform off. This uniform is a fashion nightmare. I should leave them the name of my tailor. Okay, come on. At this point, I think it's just one of those get lucky type of things. I'm seeing, I don't see anything that makes any sense. This is the one thing about point and click adventures. This is the kind of thing they'll make you do sometimes. Kid is hoarding the world's milk reserves in that giant carton. I've got to stop his ghastliness once and for. Kid is hoarding the. It's a big, that is a big carton of milk. These gerbils look a little run down. The perfect shoe for someone already so light. I see the diode I need. At least I think that's the one I need. Going with this one. Don't know why, but I'm going with it. Yeah, it's very annoying. 100%. The power's on again. I should take this silly looking shoe off before someone sees me. Holy Go try again. That's all we can do at this point. Just try, try again. And I'm sure there's going to be like, I'll go look it up after I get through playing this game. And it's like, this is what you had to do. My Oh, yeah, it's definitely a clue. Kumon. I hundred percent sure of that. But where is the clue? I hope this is the right diode. Uh oh, looks like I got the wrong diode. Uh oh, looks like I got the wrong diode. 
Our Kung Bong hit me with it, bro. I don't want to keep getting this thing over and over again. Please tell me what it is. Mr. Utterly, ah! Oh. These gerbils look a little run down. I gotta go all the way back to Utterly, Jesus. Well, I'm gonna try one more time then, since we gotta do that. I'm gonna try one more time. The power's on again. What? How? How? I swear to God. I'm gonna try one more time since I'm here. That time I accidentally right clicked and it skipped the darkness. I'll have to thank Quack. I see the diode I need. At least I think that's the one I need. All right, put this one back. Going with the stripes. The power's on again. I should take this silly looking shoe off before someone sees me. <laughs> A shoe. It still scares me that the flashlight's the shoe. Let's try this one and then we'll go see Mr. Utterly if this doesn't work. I hope this is the right diode. So it's just random? It, it does it by random? Looks like I got the wrong diode. Ay, yay. Alright. Let's go see Mr. Utterly with the x ray gum. Dot vision goggles, but a shoe. It is quite hilarious. The good news is, Mr. Early's not too far away. It just makes me go into this crazy animation every time. Come on, stop. Oh. Oh, my freaking God. Point and click adventures, ladies and gentlemen. Point and click adventures. Skip, skip. I've made an informed skip. decision to take this uniform. I gotta turn the Agnes on. This is so ridiculously hot. Alright, Mr. Utterly Time. X ray that cow. Uh, Mr. Utterly. Guess what I need to do again. Okay, okay, but do me a favor. Could you get me a pillow? The fanning is rough on the flank steak. I wonder if Mr. Utterly has to take four antacid tablets when his stomachs are upset. If I could find that diode, then I'd be making some ah, <laughs> The two yellow dots. Without okay. that diode. We have the answer. Well, Mr. Early, we're done with you, though. We're done with you. Man, why can't I remember that earlier? I should have looked at that closer. It's pretty clever. It's pretty clever. Okay, I figured out how to make things go faster. You double click, you click both the left and the right mouse button together, and it speeds up everything. Okay, now we're talking.
Oh man, I wish I'd have figured this out earlier. That's true, I mean, but it's a point-and-click adventure game. You really got to pay attention to things. I know these. This is helping me get back into the flow of a point-and-click adventure. Yeah, the speed is big. Just don't do it um, in here. Don't do it. Because it'll skip the whole thing. Eureka! I can see. Now I... Hot butter. There's the diode I need. Come on, hurry up. We've got it, y'all. We got it. The power. I should take this. Fill we could speed run this game. We could speed run this game, y'all. I'm thinking I'm going to try to speed run this game. I'm going to do it. I'm gonna get so good at this game I can speed run it like crazy. I hope this is a Not this time though. We wanna see what happens. <laughs> Once again, I've saved the world from a horrible, or in this case, smelly, fate. Now I need to go get that goat. Not so fast. Not so fast. Crafty friend, you may think you have outfoxed me by disarming my milky weapon of destruction. But I'm afraid it's too late to save your precious cows. It's over, Billy. Give yourself up. Don't ever call <laughs> me Billy. It's William. Never ever call me Billy. And it's not over yet, my foxy nemesis. When I pull this lovely lever, the cow stables will become completely flooded with milk. And that will be the end of the dairy world as we know it. That's the most despicable thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it's the most despicable thing I've ever seen. <coughs> Man, this is really rich. Kid, you're kidding yourself if you think I'm going to let you get away with this. It's too late. And now, if you'll excuse me, Mr. Fox, I have a flight to catch on my giant metallic getaway blimp where I will implement my plan to take over the world, filling it with my delicious goat byproducts. Delicious. He's you evil. He's diabolical. Insane. insane, you say? You're insane, you say? <laughs> you can save the cows. Are we saving the cows? Adios, Mr. Fox. Oh, we see where he's and at. Good luck finding this secret passageway to the stables you'll need it <laughs> stupid door thanks for leaving a little clue kid now all i have to do is find that ascot i heard that earlier today bin d3 will be the last mainline bin d for that story I've got to find that secret path. Okay, we know. There it is, right there. Oh, that's a big dude. Is one big chicken. I already know what to do. That's not going to do me any good. What? Here's where I keep my spy gadget. That's not going to do. Hello there, puny Hello there. <laughs> you are probably intimidated by my rippling muscles. Do you happen to know the ways of a cockadoodle-foo <laughs> warrior? Cockadoodle-foo, you say? It sounds familiar. 
I can use this to gather information about Cockadoodle Foo and that funky chicken. Oh, now I gotta get information about this dude. Well, this is making life hard, aren't they? No, dang it. The stupid chicken. No need to keep this uniform on. Speed, we're going at we got speed, baby. Our pig friend can help you us. Know anything about cockadoodle foo? No, but I've seen B use it more than once to bounce some troublemakers out of the cantina. Ah, B. B knows. See, the pig always can give us an answer. Cockadoodle foo? Well, I dabbled in a professional career as a cockadoodle foo fighter for a few years. Everything I learned came from a book. A book? Yeah, you can have it if you're interested. It's all too violent for me now. I've moved to a more spiritual. He's gonna play in the waltz too. All right, what do I do with the book? Thanks, B. You may. That's not going to do me any. That's not going to do me any good. That's not going. All right, I don't know. I guess I need to go talk to the chicken with the book. I don't know. This unit. Went the wrong way. Okay, I guess I right, use the book on the chicken. The itchy armpit on for size. Yeah, this game needs that map, Kumo. I agree. This cockadoodle foo book from B should help me defeat that funky chicken. Okay, let me see. Tech. Cockadoodle foo looks like a piece of cake. Now that I see the instruction manual, this fancy counter move should work on my overinflated opponent. All right, Doodle, <laughs> I'm going to counter that with the ham on rye. Oh, we win! We win! What? What happened? <laughs> I think I could beat you, huh? Well, I'd stay and toy with you longer. I like but that. It looks like you're all tied up. Wait a minute! How about two out of three falls? No, let's make it best of seven. You can't leave me like this. Too bad I can. Well, where are we going, bro? We need to go that way. The kidnapped dairy cows. Oh. I've found them. Yay! Hey, we everyone. found the cows. My name is Spy oh. Fox. And I'll rescue you shortly. Continue treading milk, and I'll be ah. right there. I hereby declare you free range cow. Yes! All right, we did that. What? There he goes over in his blimp. <laughs> I love this bad guy. William, William, William the kid is pretty funny. I'll be back to milk the world yet again. Not so fast, kid. The last thing the world needs is another escaped goat. Get in that, get in that vehicle. Let's go. <laughs> I love this animation. It's Thanks so that, good. Fox. This road ends just ahead. 
Oh. Ah. Uh. I was so close, <laughs> yet so far. Uh, I thought it was just an animation. Later that day. For outstanding heroism and suaveness, I award you, Spy Fox, the Little Daddy Congressional Cookie of Justice. Why, thank you, Mr. President. If only I could have brought that like Bill Clinton. William the Kid to justice. I'm confident that you'll nab that villain next time. Three cheers for Spy Fox. I was expecting an animation. I was watching it comfortably. I was not expecting to have to click on things. I know you could have caught him there. Of course you could have. I wish I hadn't left my parents. Pisses me off. Maybe one of my. I wonder which. Hmm. Well, that pisses me off. I thought I was just watching an animation like it had been doing before and then it made me click and then it's like, oh, why you gotta click on something? A bunch of bull. Mobile command center. Well, we got the cookie this time. Next time we play it, we'll catch Billy. We'll catch him. We're gonna catch him. I'm gonna play this again. We'll try to speed run it. We'll see how we can do. That'll be fun. I wanna try to speed run a point and click adventure. Why not? Yeah, it wouldn't let me retry this. I clicked restart. It wouldn't let me reach. It wouldn't let me do it. And it took me back to the beginning of the game. Quit. Low. So I never saved it or anything. No point, right? There was no point. Anyway, it don't matter. It doesn't matter. It was a pretty fun game. I like it. I enjoyed that quite a bit. We got. I've got all five Spy Fox games. We'll play them all eventually. Uh, on Tuesday, we will be back to playing some Persona 3 Reload. So, I hope you're excited for that. And we'll get back to some point and click adventures at some point in the future. It'll be fun. I like this a lot. I enjoyed playing this and hanging out with you guys tonight. It was really fun. Yep. Posted. I'm trying to... I got to get back to posting things on there. And I don't know. I got to be more consistent on things. Kumong's always good to see you, bro. Hope you can come and hang out with us, watch some Persona 3 or some Kingdom Hearts next week. It's fun hanging out with you, dude. I love hanging out with you and Guy and Barefoot. You are all amazing people. And thank you for everybody who showed up today. Ethan B., Brendan Hooper, who inspired me to play this today. And uh, Rainbow Wolf, thank you as well. It's a good time. It's a good time indeed. Well, I must get off here now. I got to eat some noodles, and I'm going to try to play some Fallout 76 for a little bit before I go to bed as well. So y'all have a great evening, and we'll see you soon. Y'all have a wonderful weekend, by the way. I hope your weekend is beautiful, and I will see y'all on Tuesday. And my wife just sent me a text said she's hungry, so I got to get over to those noodles, y'all, before I get in trouble. <laughs> we had a very fun stream. I love you guys. Stay cool. Double. Peace. I'm out.